this is it. Uh, this is uh, my last uh, video lecture of the course on other single processing for music applications. So this is uh, my uh, goodbye lecture. And uh, the first thing I want to say is thank you. Uh, thank you for keeping up uh, with the course, uh, with us, and therefore uh, giving a meaning to this experiment. This was the first time uh, we offered uh, an online course like uh, this one. We have uh, learned a lot doing it, and uh, hopefully we will uh, do this again, and we will use all that experience uh, to improve it. So, thank you again. And also, we need to thank uh, the institutions we come from, the Universidad Pompeu Fabra and Stanford University for giving the institutional support uh, to make it uh, possible, and especially the research groups uh, that we are part of, the Music Technology Group and the Center for Computer Research in Music and Acoustics. So now, in this uh, short lecture, uh, I want to give you some pointers to places where you can learn more about the topics of the course. I want to mention a few things about research centers, a few things about uh, masters and PhD programs, also about conferences and about journals. So about research centers, uh, there are many. Uh, this is a field that uh, is uh, quite consolidated by now and therefore is present in many universities around the world. However, being uh, uh, an interdisciplinary area of activity, uh, every research center might be quite different. Um, it's, um, it's an activity that is present in uh, different types of departments, in different types of universities and uh, therefore the, the research centers will have different disciplinary backgrounds and focus depending on their context, on their, uh, on their faculty, uh, the interests of the faculty that are running the center. So it's very important to really understand that and to understand the personality of every center uh, before you actually approach or you try to join or to uh, uh, basically um, learn from one of these research centers. Uh, given that there are so many, uh, I didn't want even to list any of them. Uh, there is a partial uh, listing of many centers in this link that I put here in this smcnetwork.org under resources. Uh, you will have a, a quite long list of uh, centers that are active in the field of sound and music computing, music technology, and uh, in general this uh, area of activity. In terms of uh, educational programs, uh, graduate educational programs is, is again the same thing. There are not that many uh, compared with the number of centers there, are, there exist, uh, given that uh, there are not that many large research centers, there are not that many institutions that can offer uh, a program that is focused on these uh, topics. Our two institutions uh, are definitely big enough uh, to offer that. So at the Pompeu Fabra University we have a master in sound and music computing and at Stanford University there is a master in music uh, science and technology. Um, clearly they are different uh, so you should look at them. Uh, at uh, the Universidad Pompeu Fabra we are within an engineering department and that uh, makes uh, a particular context uh, and therefore the master reflects that. And uh, Stanford University, the Center for Computer Research in Music and Acoustics, is part of the music department. And that gives another type of uh, focus or at least another type of context uh, that uh, implies a certain, uh, certain um, interest or certain focus in the, the educational programs. In terms of the PhD programs, uh, the same, but clearly since PhD programs are not, uh, let's say, uh, they don't have normally a series of, uh, of uh, lectures or a series of courses, uh, they are just uh, focused on a PhD thesis, there, there are as many PhDs as uh, faculty uh, members uh, that uh, do research in these topics. So you can uh, do a PhD in these fields in, 
in basically most of universities uh, around the world. Uh, again, in our two universities, uh, being uh, uh, universities that have a, a large, uh, gr uh, large groups in, in these fields, uh, you can do a PhD uh, that at the same time takes advantage of a large research group, which I think is a, is a good thing. But again, there are uh, many places that you can look and again, the important thing is uh, to understand the particular context, the particular department, understand the activity of a particular faculty member and identify things that you are interested in. Um, Okay, and now if we uh, want to talk about conferences, uh, every field has a set of reference conferences, uh, places where uh, the researchers and, and the PhD students uh, go to uh, to basically uh, interact with other researchers to get feedback. It's impossible by yourself staying at, uh, at home or at a given institution uh, to get uh, uh, a feeling and to really learn about all the state of the art and all what is really going on. Not everything is online. So attending conferences is an important part of uh, people involved in advanced research uh, of a particular field. Uh, our field has uh, quite a few conferences that are kind of specialized in uh, our topics. The first one that started uh, was the International Computer Music Conference. Uh, it started in the US uh, and that started from a, a clear musical perspective, uh, so from the, the idea of uh, um, the use of technology for composition. And that still has that uh, main focus, even though it has uh, diversified a lot and nowadays it includes uh, presentations and topics that cover a wide variety of issues related with uh, computer music. Uh, another conference is the Sound and Music Computing Conference. Uh, this was, it's a much more recent conference. It started in Europe and it started with a more, I would say, more of an engineering uh, um, sort of emphasis. Uh, in, uh, in Europe, uh, the music conservatories are outside the university. Uh, therefore, at the university, uh, the, these type of activities are uh, more under the umbrella of uh, engineering departments. And uh, the Sound and Music Computing Conference reflects a little bit uh, that. So it's a good uh, general uh, conference on topics, but again, emphasizing the technical presentations and uh, the lectures. The next uh, conference is this, uh, uh, the conference on digital audio effects. That again is a more recent conference. I would say it's kind of a spin-off of the ICMC or of the SMC in the sense that it was created to emphasize a particular aspect, a particular aspect of audio signal processing in fact. So in fact this uh, course is very much uh, reflected in the activities of this conference. So if you look at the proceedings of the conference you will see a lot of presentations related with the kind of things we have been talking about. So that's a very good place uh, to look for advanced um, presentations and ad uh, advancements in the field of audio signal processing related to music. Another uh, very important conference is the Conference on Music Information Retrieval, ISMIR, which again was a conference created to specialize in the area of music information retrieval, in the topics related with music and, and, and sound description that uh, we mentioned in the, in the previous week. So that's a, an excellent conference for the people that are interested in uh, in uh, using uh, technology for describing music, both from the audio, and from the signal processing point of view, and also more from these other areas that uh, I mentioned, like uh, the areas of uh, machine learning or the areas of uh, semantic type of analysis to really capture the whole field of uh, music uh, information and the description of all this type of data. 
Then uh, there is another uh, conference, uh, the ninth conference, uh, the conference on new interfaces for musical expression, that it's uh, on a different uh, area, on the aspect of interaction, which is a very important aspect within music technology, but is not one that we have covered in this course. But for people that are more interested in this interfaces aspect with a clear musical goal, uh, nine is an excellent uh, conference. And finally, uh, well, there are quite a few conferences that are more general, that come from societies that are well established, and uh, that within them uh, are our field is also part of. For example, the Audio Engineering Society conventions and conferences um, include uh, most of the time, or basically all the time, topics related with audio signal processing, with music technology. So that's a, a very good uh, source of uh, activity. Uh, the AES, uh, in their conferences, it also um, includes the more industrial aspect. So that's also a, a very interesting um, aspect of this conference. And then we have the IEEE conferences. In IEEE, uh, this uh, engineering society includes many conferences that relate or that involve aspects related with audio signal processing, with music technology. Maybe the, the, the most uh, focused one is the ICASP, so the conference on acoustic speech and signal processing. That uh, has been a very active, it's a huge conference and uh, there is always an important part of that uh, dedicated to music information retrieval topics, uh, audio signal processing topics, uh, etc. So that's a, a very good engineering, general purpose engineering conference uh, that uh, these type of topics are covered. And finally, uh, the ACM uh, um, Association uh, has also, that's uh, another engineering association, more uh, computer science uh, focus, uh, has a, a lot of uh, conferences that uh, relate uh, to these topics uh, and uh, they're very good uh, places where to learn about uh, these. For example, maybe the one that is most uh, related is the ACM Multimedia in which uh, it does not just cover audio, but it covers image, uh, video, and uh, other type of multimedia uh, data analysis. So that's a good conference. But uh, you can find quite a few general purposes conference in which now music and audio has a presence, and uh, there are interesting things uh, to be learned from. And in terms of journals, um, that's kind of the same uh, situation. All fields have uh, certain journals uh, that are the, the reference journals for a particular community. Maybe I would say that our community does not have uh, uh, so many uh, journals compared with some other fields. And I would say there is a lack in that aspect, at least compared with conferences. Uh, the oldest uh, journal in our field uh, and very well known is the Computer Music Journal, that's from the 70s, and uh, that's a, a, a journal that I'd again uh, emphasize the music aspect of the field, so the, the, maybe the traditional computer music uh, view of the field, but again nowadays it includes uh, quite a few um, articles on all areas, uh, the kind of things we have been talking about. Another uh, journal is the Journal of New Music Research that despite the name, um, it's also very much focused on music technology and, uh, and science of music uh, type of uh, topics. And for example, lately the music information retrieval topics uh, have a strong presence in that journal. So that's a, a good journal to, uh, to read and to follow and to uh, keep up with the field. And then um, the last uh, journals I mentioned here are from these uh, societies that I mentioned that are more general, but that include uh, topics related with uh, audio music technology, and therefore, again, are good to follow. 
the Audio Engineering Society has a journal, the Journal of the AES, in which uh, many papers uh, related with these topics are published. The, the IEEE Society has quite a few journals, but uh, there is one in particular, the Transactions on Audio, Speech and Language Processing, that uh, includes always uh, relevant articles. And uh, finally, uh, the ACM um, has also some relevant journals, and again, maybe one that uh, is the most uh, uh, the one most related to what we have been talking about is the transactions on multimedia computing, communications, and applications. But again, there are many uh, other journals that uh, might include uh, some relevant articles, and it's good to keep an eye on on all these uh, on all these activities and all these journals. Okay, uh, to, uh, to look uh, to, for these references, um, the smcnetwork.org uh, website uh, keeps a list of uh, all the, the journals, the conferences uh, that I have mentioned, so that's a good way to start looking uh, for uh, specific links. And uh, there is other things there that you might be interested in. The entry, uh, the Wikipedia entry for sound and music computing still is maybe is not uh, that comprehensive, but it's a good starting point to get an idea of the general feel of sound and music computing and then look for uh, some specific uh, references. Okay, and uh, that's all. Uh, this is really it. Uh, and I just uh, want to say a personal thank you to everyone. Uh, so everyone that made this uh, course uh, possible and uh, maybe I want to uh, give a special thank to Coursera for providing this uh, amazing platform uh, to deliver uh, this type of courses and be able to uh, interact with all of you. So goodbye to all of you and uh, thank you again.